Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Snapshot series, where we will be taking a look at the latest Minecraft Snapshots. And in this video, we will be covering the three first snapshots of the 1.14 version. So stay tuned. So the reason why I am covering three snapshots in one go is basically because right now there are four, three sorry, snapshots out for 1.14 and the first one is the major one which allows me to take the other two in because it's mainly just um, performance fixes and stuff like that. So we will be taking a look at the first snapshot release which releases all the beefy stuff for 1.14 or some of it anyway. So let's get started. The first thing I would like to mention is the texture update has been applied to the 1.14 update. So these are the textures, the new textures that you will be seeing in your Minecraft world. As you can see, the textures have changed of most of the blocks here. The grass, I believe, has changed. The on top texture of the grass here, the trees, and especially if you look at the leaves, for example, and also the stone looks a lot smoother in my opinion. And also stuff like items like swords and armor have changed their textures. And I really like these textures. As far as I know, Mojang will be releasing the texture, the old Minecraft texture pack for you to download if you would like to still use the old Minecraft textures. But these are the new textures that you will be seeing in Minecraft 1.14 and in my opinion, they look pretty good. This is just a small example of the texture changes here. And also if you take a look at the water, I'm not sure if the water was changed since 1.13, but if you look at the things as I said, like trees and stuff, you can see that they have definitely changed. And in my opinion, they look a lot more smoother and detailed than before. If you take a look at the piston, for example, it looks really cool. So that's one of the features in 1.14. Let's take a look at the blocks added in 1.14. Sorry, I keep messing that up. Um, the first block that we're going to be taking a look at is the bamboo, the newly added bamboo. So this is the first stage, I guess, when you are farming it. And then over here are the actual bamboo when it has grown. And that is the sound of it. Really cool. They can be found in jungles and bamboo jungles. It can also be found in shipwrecks and jungle temples. They are also dropped by pandas when killed or can be obtained when fishing in jungle biomes. They can be found and grown up to 12 or 16 blocks tall. And it grows between one and two bamboo when using bone meal. So if they just get some bone meal out here. And there we go. Looking good, looking good. So here we can see this top of the bamboo when it is actually grown naturally. So if we take a look at this fella right here, yes, see, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing big, it's growing big. Um, it breaks instantly using swords. So if we go to uh, survival here real quick. So now we have our sword. Now it should break instantly just like that. Whereas if we use the fist, it takes a while, but the sword cuts them right in half or just cuts them. <laughs> So here they are and they can be placed just like that and you can place them on top of each other I could imagine these could be like cool for maybe making some Walls or something though be aware you can actually go past them if they're placed like that I believe that is random Seems pretty random. So that is the bamboo. Um, they can be eaten by pandas used as fuel um, they smell about a quarter of an item and they can be planted inside a flower pot. So if we just give ourselves a flower pot, flower pot, and place one flower pot, there we go. They can be planted inside a flower pot. They can also be used to craft two sticks. So if we take them just like that, two bamboo equals one stick. So there we go. That is pretty much the bamboo so far in the new version or in the new 1.14 14 snapshot. Let's go on to the next block. The next block we want to talk about is the flowers. And they have added three new flowers. One of them being the cornflower, this one right here, which gives us a nice blue dye, if I'm not mistaken. They also have added a wither rose, more about that in a moment, and lily of, lily of the valley. So let's take a look at those. So we got wither rose right there. And we also got lily of the valley looking really good and of course the cornflower right here so right there now this wither flower 
does have some special effects that we will covering. I guess I'll cover them right now. So the special thing about the Wither Rose is when you get close to it, as you can see, I get the Wither effect, which is something pretty cool, I think, since it's called Wither Rose. If you put it in a crafting table, it gives you black dye. More about dyes in a moment, hopefully. Um, the only way, as far as I know, to get them is if any mob is killed by the Wither and the mob killed may drop a Wither Rose upon death. And that is pretty much the only way to achieve them or get them. They are not spawned in any sort of biome whatsoever, yet anyways, unless that changes of course. So that's the Wither Flower for you. The other ones are just normal ones, the Cornflower and the Lily of the Valley. We don't yet know in what biome the Lily of the Valley will spawn in, but the Cornflower we know it will spawn in Plains and Sunflower Plains. If it will spawn in others, um, we don't have a yes or no for that one yet. So that is pretty much the flowers. Now, now these, actually all of these, give their separate um, dyes, which I guess we'll start talking about as well. So if we just get a quick crafting table out here. So if we put the cornflower in, you can see that we now have blue dye, which is something new. Before we used to use lapis lazuli, we no longer use lapis lazuli, we now get blue dye. And I believe if we take lapis lazuli, Put it in a crafting table just like this. Yes, we'll get blue dye. Lily of the Valley gives white dye, whereas before we used bone meal, and with a rose before gave black dye. I don't know if sorry, ink, if that will give us black dye, and if we take bone meal right here, if those will turn into dyes. Let's check it out. Okay, so bone meal turns into white dye and ink sac turns, turns into black dye. That makes sense. So if we want to dye something black, we no longer use this ink sacs. We use black dye, blue dye and white dye, etc. So that is something new they added as well. So that basically covers the new flowers and also the dyes. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next subject. Whenever you have wanted to make a cool shield or a cool banner, have you ever been like, uh, now I need to look at the recipe list again or this website that might have a pattern um, recipe list or something like that and you think it's difficult, fear no more because Minecraft or Mojang has introduced the loom which solves all your, all your problems, hopefully. <laughs> so what they have done in 1.14 is that they have removed all the previous banner pattern uh, recipes and replace the recipes with what's called banner patterns and these are crafted um, in different ways as you can see we have four of them here currently there are only four I don't know if they will be adding more but these are the four that we have to our um, to our usage right now so all you need to do actually is just to have a banner die and one of these so if we just take some die here I have blue but if we just mm, I don't want a white banner, let's say I want a cyan banner, for example, or maybe a black banner. You know what, let's take a lime banner as well, because I have an idea for something. If I just get some, if I get some, um, if I get some white dye here, there we go, and maybe some yellow. And let's try and make some nice looking banners. So the loom is crafted using a crafting table. Actually, it's not, sorry, you don't need a crafting table. You just need two oak planks, or any planks, I believe, and two strings. And if we go into survival, right here, there we go. We should be able to craft a loom just like this. There we go, we can place it down. There we go. Now what this does when you right click on it, this may seem a little bit confusing, but it's actually not. Up here is the slot for your banner. This is the die, and this is the banner pattern. So if I want to make a banner, I put my banner in there. Then we have these banner patterns which are crafted individually. So if we take the, let's take the skull charge for example. I just have to look it up because I and I myself need to remember these now. Okay, so for the um, banner pattern for the creeper charge, I believe it is simply a paper and a creeper head. So if I just go into creative real quick and maybe get some paper to demonstrate this paper even that texture looks cool and let's get a skull let's get a creep head as well let's get you know what i'll show you how to make all of them enchanted golden apple and also 
a what's it called the one oh there we go there we go oxi and we'll get that pretty cool apparently i lost my enchanted apple but good thing we have it here so let's go back to survival mode so if i want to craft the the um the flower charge i take a paper and oxide daisy we get the flower pie flower flower pie <laughs> flower charge pattern and if i want the thing the thing you know the thing we do this so that is basically the mojang logo if we want the skull charge we take a paper with a skeleton skull and we get the skull charge and if we want the creeper charge obviously we use the creeper head and we get creeper charge so let's say we want these down as a banner of course so let's take in a white banner let's take creeper charge as you can see we can see it here and it looks like they are planning on adding a lot more since they have this thing where it can go down so i'm guessing they're going to add more but for right now this is the one and let's add a blue creeper head right there and here are our banner so we take that and we get our banner pattern back. Of course, it takes the banner that we used. And, okay, maybe if I placed it right. Maybe if I placed it right, okay. Let's do that. There we go. Looking good. So there's our banner. No need for multiple dies or remembering weird patterns in your head. This machine does it all for you. If we take, for example, this. Uses the thing. Yellow. I think this, the, this one looks pretty cool. If I may say so myself, I really like this one. Um, we could, for example, do this maybe and the flower charge and maybe some blue dye that looks a little weird, but we're going to do it anyways for science. And I just wanted to really do this one. There we go. I, I, I had to do that one. So there you go. All these done in almost five, to five, five very easy steps. So that is the new banner pattern system and the loom block. All of that explained in one go. Next subject. All right, so the next things I'm going to cover are basically some new blocks that they have added um, on a new quote unquote blocks, but they're, they're new, but it's something that have always been there, such as signs, slabs, stairs, and walls. And let's take a look at those real quick. So if we go to sign, they've basically added a spruce sign, birch sign, acacia sign, jungle sign, and dark oak sign, of course, made by that individual wood. So if we take a crafting table i believe we might already have one but let's just take one anyways stick and let's take some you know what i'm fancying i'm fancying birch right now let's do that stick birch wood there we go birch sign i can place it down say hello on it and it looks pretty good and it seems like they changed the um whoops okay <laughs> the um the text on it so if i just take all of the signs here and let's see if they all have that um color on them so i go here hello seems like they all got the white um color on it here yeah it does indeed seem like they changed the color of the text as well i guess that actually looks way better because you can you can see now no without any problems you can clearly see what it says now before it was black right so it was a little bit more different or difficult sorry to to see what it said especially on this so i guess that's why they chose the white one it's easy to see on all colors so that is the signs the slabs if we take a look at the slabs whoops there we go as you can see we know the oak slabs bruce all the wood slabs um the smooth stone slab and the sandstone slab etc etc but now you can see there are a bunch more so diorite slab polished diorite mossy stone brick slab um polished andesite red leather bricks brick slab andesite slab i believe a slab for every single block i think i might be wrong on that one obviously the gold blocks and diamond blocks and iron blocks are not here so clearly not all of them but many building blocks have been added here so red sandstone slab and the um yeah the okay the quartz slab has already been there but the endstone brick smooth sandstone looking pretty good so now you can make your builds even more detailed this is a pretty cool thing so i've been excited for this one because it makes building easier okay so it is essentially the same thing with stairs stairs for all these blocks here 
um, stone stairs. You can now make your mine shaft, maybe, if that's what you're making, look even smoother, just like that. And stone walls, everything looks nice and neat. Um, you can do that. Actually, I'm just gonna leave those there. And the walls, if we take a look, before we had like cobblestone, multi cobblestone, and only a few, like the nether brick wall as well. Don't even know if we had this one stone brick wall, but here you go, all of them right here, just like the others. Let's make a nice fence here, and they do connect as well, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. That's basically all the blocks, unless I have missed anything. So, yeah, those are the fences right there, and yeah, looking pretty good. So I think that will do it for this episode um, where we are taking a look at Minecraft snapshots versus snapshot versions and seeing what they add. These are just as blocks, I still need to show you the maps and items and everything like that. So stay tuned for the next episode, hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Bye bye.